Portugal represents everything Ngamba is about because it combines luxury with accessibility, with places that normally people wouldn't think of going or have access to. It's what we call truly behind the ropes. You know, it's giving people an insight into a world they just don't know existed and a guidebook's not gonna get them there. Portugal's a hilly country. You have everything from easy rides to very challenging climbing days. It's not a bike ride for the faint of heart. These people are not messing around. They are taking you to task on the bicycle. You were never riding flat. You were either going up or going down, or in the woods. We were in the rocky mountains. We were in the city. We were in little villages. It was no monkey business. I felt like I was climbing to the top of the world at some points, and we were. We were climbing to the top of Portugal. That was the best descending we've done, except the cows and the dog on the side of the road were a little freaky. Fantastic. Loving every day. That was unbelievable. Exactly what I dreamt a bike ride would be about. I really feel like I'm coming home. Just a better cyclist altogether. It's the closest to riding like a pro rider you can get to. The food was very good. I loved that the menu was chosen for us and there were always options if you weren't a meat eater or if you were gluten free or whatever, but the food just kept coming. I didn't expect to eat fantastic food. I did not expect to gain weight. <laughs> the wine was very diverse. I drank wine from all over Portugal. The amount of wine we consumed was too much for how hard we had to ride the next day. I got pretty buzzed last night. Yeah. In fact, I think a couple times I hydrated after the trip with just pure wine, unfortunately. But yeah, great food, great drinks. Everything was good. We wrap amazing riding with good food and wine, but then these incredible luxury properties. All the hotels where we stay are four and five star hotels that are very unique. You know, you're riding to your next destination and in, in the distance you see a castle and you're like, there's no way, that's where we're staying. And sure enough, you're climbing up to a castle which is gonna be where you're staying the night and it's just, it's magical. You're staying inside walled cities, you're staying at castles, you're staying at vineyards you're getting to experience things that you probably couldn't have planned yourself no matter how hard you tried. All these properties where we stay, they're not just a place to rest your head. They're wrapped in history. They're owned by people who are very passionate about what they do. And it's something that I think that our guests really, really feel and, and it adds something that they just can't imagine uh, to their lives. We all have these busy lives, whether work and family and kids and all, all these things, and to be able to get away for a week of riding and check out and be off your phone and off the internet and off the Wi-Fi, it sort of makes you know, life worth living, I think. I've been a lot of places in my life, but Portugal certainly now makes a list of places that I want to come back to. It's hard to explain to people how amazing it was, how amazing not only the staff, but the scenery, the food, where you're staying, everything was catered to, and the whole thing was very magical and surreal. Our motto is eat up the miles, drink in the culture. That entire philosophy creates these, these unforgettable uh, vacations and, and experiences around cycling, food and wine. New designs, grupos, wheels, equipment for bikes are things that will continue to get innovated and come and go, but the experiences you have and the people you're meeting on the trips are something that stays with you forever.